Union Sneakers is back. Let's drop some bombs for that one. That's right, god damn it. Here we go, need I say more, you feel me? So today we're talking about a pretty damn controversial shoe. With that being said, man, a controversial brand and a controversial shoe, but I have finally acquired my hands for it, even though I'm most likely gonna sell it. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So first off, I do wanna say Union Sneakers, this channel will always grow. But with that being said, it's about fashion sneakers and streetwear. But with that being said, you do need money to review the items for this channel. And with that being said, that's why I have done a couple of reaction videos. I didn't have money lately to buy stuff to review, right? Because it's mainly a review channel. If a shoe channel or a fashion channel is about fashion or shoes, you would expect the person to review or unbox or something fashion or shoes or sneakers or streetwear, right? Accessories, everything included, designer wear, whatever it is. But with that being said, I did have some money, so I obviously spent all of it uh, to buy two pairs of shoes, so you guys are getting two videos before New Year. And with that being said, let's get right back in the video. And if no one knows yet, I do have a personal channel. It's called Usuri. It's linked in the description so you guys can subscribe to that as well. I showcase my life, my personal things, what I do, fun videos. Shoes are right here. Take a wild guess before I unveil them. What can this shoe be? Take a wild guess right now. Three, two, one. Shoo! Shoo! Here we god damn it go. We have the Balenci. I have finally acquired a pair. I always wanted a pair and I still want a personal pair to rock because I feel like if you get these in your size, this is by far the most comfortable shoe you can ever experience. I mean, bro, wear some sweats like I am right now. Wear some socks and pop on some socks with some soles. You will literally be the, the most comfortable person on the planet. This is a pretty dope colorway. I actually do originally like this colorway. I don't don't like the classic ones with the Balenciaga right here. These ones are done a little bit different, so they are pretty uh, interesting, especially the colorway too. This is something different. With that being said, man, let's get into the colorway. So first off, we got the BBs right there. I did think they are reflective and it would have been cool if they added, you know, two more cents into this logo so it could reflect, but it does not. So the logo that BB does not reflect. Next up, we have a navy upper. I don't know if y'all can tell, it's not black, it's navy. This is black. This is navy. I'm sure y'all can see the difference now. Next up, the sole is like this tea, grayish, like white, cloudy kind of color, right? Uh, pretty cool. Matches again. The contrast on this specific colorway is very, very cool. Then we move on to the bottoms. So the bottoms on these boys is basically like a crimson red. It's a pretty bright color, but again, you barely even see it, right? Unless those little side hits right here or the front, you won't actually be able, like it's, it's not a very loud shoe, I'm telling you right away. This is still a comfy, cozy colorway, even though it's not the black and white pair or the triple black pair. And then we have these little inserts of the rubber, I guess, that they do on the Balenciaga. These boys originally, they were kind of yellow, but obviously they got even more yellow because the shoe is used and I did buy these used. So, and I'll let y'all know the story of how I actually bought them and how I acquired this pair. Again, the sock upper, man, This it's like legendary. You obviously can't see inside, but I did take out the insoles. Let's take a look at those. But here are the insoles. So the insoles are pretty damn simple. So they have the green on the bottom, whatever this is. They're pretty thin, but honestly, I did not expect them to be that much of a difference with the insoles or without. It's a massive difference, actually, because again, this pair is a size nine. I'm a 10, 10 and a half. I thought it would be good. I thought it was a good deal, which it was. I ended up buying them, but they are not something I would be keeping just because the deal was too good good and just because I mean I could probably make some money off these and so I took out the insoles because it was way too tight with them it made a huge difference they do actually fit me but because my left foot is bigger than my right unfortunately on my left foot they are still a little bit snug and wearing them all day still will not help so I do say get your size I believe these are true to size because again if anything they would stretch out a little bit right but stretching out like a size and a half is quite
quite a bit to ask for. Next up, so the actual insole, the top layer, this is pretty damn interesting because it does look and actually feel like suede or this kind of velvety. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is suede. I don't know. It's given me heavy suede vibes, but maybe this is just some regular knit. This is what you have on the heel, a little Balenciaga 41 made in Italy. I don't know why it's made in this like square. It looks pretty damn ugly. Like it could have been just like without this little square patch, but I guess that's how they printed it, which does look a bit ugly. Next up, let's actually talk about how I acquired this pair of shoes. I went on Facebook Marketplace, as I always do, finding the best steals and deals from me and you. And I upload a bunch of shorts about that as well. If not, checked out my shorts. I saw these for, I think they were like 300 or 350. I lowered the guy then to like 250 and then I lowered him to like 200. So he took 200, 200 for a pair of speed trainers. And the guy was like, he was legit. You feel me? He had Chicago ones on like, all that kind of stuff. And honestly, it is a pretty damn good deal. Like I can't lie, if you get these boys for 200 bucks, this is by far one of the most comfiest shoes you can get. Best believe it, God damn it. I got the shoe and then yeah, it's not really my size. So I can't really be rocking these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna do an on foot though. Um, They weren't that dirty, honestly. Again, look at the bottoms. It's it's mainly just dusty, right? This is not real like dirt or anything or, or grime. Like, I mean, there's one black spot, like who cares? You feel me 200 bucks can you even complain about that and honestly right now with the whole balenciaga controversies and all that going on just buy the shoes now you feel me Base a lot of the shoes are on sale unfortunately like at nordstrom and stuff like that but they are the ugly colorways not the classic ones like black and whites triple blacks like those are not on sale the wacky ones like bright lime greens and the pinks i saw some grays too but which is cool and a bit more of the funky colorways are on sale so the best time would get them right now especially if you want them brand new could go to like nordstrom or like any designer store and just check them out but yeah i just thought it's a good scope i mean i guess everyone's selling their balenciagas i don't personally attach myself to like anything or any products that i really get because again if you do think about it right Kim K, Kanye West, whatever, they're like a part of the brand and then this and that and whatever. I like the shoe for the shoe, you feel me? I don't like the shoe for Kanye West or Kim Kardashian. I don't care who is an ambassador for the brand. I like the shoe. I literally just like the shoe. Like I like the shape, I like the actual thing, right? I don't attach it to, oh, I'm a Kanye West fan or even I'm a Balenciaga head. Like I do like a lot of their stuff. I feel like they're one of the top tier brands. They have done quite a bit of very interesting stuff out there recently but again i'm not attaching myself to any of that and it would be really funky to find like people outside actually like harassing you for wearing like balenciaga or something which i don't think happens or should happen i would definitely say they are a little bit hard to put on because it's it's a very unusual putting on of a shoe well, once they're on, boys, they're on. You feel me? So you kind of have to, I guess, stretch them out and just kind of, you know, pop them up. Make sure the collar is not like in a little thing. You feel me? You got the Balenci's on. You feel me? Man, that's crazy. What people do for sneakers and fashion just to look cool, you know? When in reality, they be struggling in the pocket. You feel me? Here we go. We got the Balenci's on right now. You Fail me, bro. Stop playing. You know we got the gas. No insoles, of course, as I said. Very, very tight. Like, even right now, on my left foot, I definitely feel my big toe just, like, bumping on that top of the shoe. But, man, what do y'all think, bro? I think these are, man, these are so damn comfy. Like, from the top, if you do look at them, it does look a little damn funky. Because it looks a little stupid. Because it's an unusual look from the top. But, honestly, when you look from the damn side, bro, it's such a flex, bro. Like, like you can't even damn lie. Like like this, I feel like they're okay. But when you got the whole thing down, you just feeling cozy. You just got the vibes just like rolling in. You feel me? Call me rice gum. Call me the white rice gum if you want to call me that. Matter of fact, I'm Asian if no one knew that. Anyways, bro, these are an absolute flex, bro. Boys from the top, you already know they looking very, very damn malicious. But from the side, man, check the boys out, bro. Can't lie, man. Flexer. Hell, boys better call me messy from now on. Union sneakers 
in the Messi gang. Congratulations to Argentina. I always knew Ronaldo's better. But with that being said, man, what do y'all think about the shoes? Comment down below and let me know if you ever had a pair, if you want a pair, and would you ever get a pair? That being said, man, I would appreciate a like. I would love to hear them comments and I would love to see the new people subscribe. Valencia boys, we out.